The first answer is ide.udic.com. And again, that makes sense for the, the same reason as, as before. Um, if the domains match, it's a simple case. Of course, um, this domain can set this cookie. The second answer, other.ide.udacity.com. This basically means if um, other can set a cookie for its parent, which works fine. What, what is not a correct answer is udacity.com. Other.ide can't set a cookie for Udacity, which would get sent to you know, any subdomain of Udacity, and it can't set a cookie for you know, a, a sibling. Other.udacity.com can't set this cookie. Only these two domains can set this cookie. I want you to be aware that the domain you're setting a cookie for is very important. And, you know, of course, when you're developing software, you can just experiment and see which ones work. But these are the general rules. You know, just look for, you know, either a direct match or the server or the cookie should be a subset of the server um, and, you're in a, and you're in good shape.